Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you here. We're back to ridiculous fishing. After that miracle run of catching that pyrite fish. Uh, Baruch is still not with us. And even when he comes back, I think we'll still keep doing this, this playthrough. Uh, where's our good old pyrite fish? Blue chin. Have we not rid this already? Known for its ability to stay submerged in water forever. <laughs> it's very impressive. Okay, so... Before... I recorded this episode, I went through and took some screenshots, and I accidentally caught a new fish off camera, so I apologize. Skull crab is the one I caught. The skeleton of a crab. Spooky. Uh, and jelly boss. Have we not looked at our jelly boss yet? I didn't. I don't remember catching jelly boss, actually. Ah, I guess we did. First to be called jelly employer. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. He was at the bottom of, of this level. He was the boss of this stormy seas place. Flying fish. Abomination of nature. Them flying fish are flying in my face. Abomination. Worse than Sasquatch alone. Gold pike. Ah, gold pike. Credit card of fish. <laughs> Always good to have your mother's gold pike. That sounds awful. Moose goose. Goose is your line up ways when hoot. Moose goose. <laughs> oh, moose goose. And our boy, Pyrite Fish. Yes, we get to see that new banner on it. Rare. Eye patch, son of a gun. Oh my gosh. The rarest fish. My friends, this is going to be just a cinch. It is going to be a breeze after catching this Pyrite Fish. Everything else in this game, a total breeze. So, we're, we're good to go. It's been a while, so I'm not sure where we are. Let's see. Okay, we got 4,500. And... Don't have that orbital ray yet. That's my boy. Oh yeah, we should probably save up for that wizard robe. Next. Uh, yeah. Well, where are we on our map? Um... Oh, we got Arctic Flows. Let's go on Arctic Flows. Oh, the music. It's good to be back. This has been something I have enjoyed a lot. Oh! Oh! Because I love this game a lot. Oh! My little brother asked me what my favorite games were, and I knew I was missing one. It was this one. I love Burnout Paradise, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and this game. These are my favorite games. There might be one I'm missing, but... Oh! Well, gotta get back in the old swing of things. This boy Billy is not fishing as well as he would be after a long night of fishing the fish out of the water. Oh, that's me. My phone is reflecting in a mirror in the room. Ah, oh. oh, it's so good. All right, y'all. Let's blow the gills off of these fish. Here we go. Yes. Blow the gills off of them. This is like the most violent. No, that's not true. Burnout Paradise is violent, I suppose. Violent with vehicles. But usually don't like the violent stuff. I'm not an RPG kind of guy, which is probably not good for our channel. But you know what? That's okay. Maybe I'll give it a shot. You know, like Fortnite or something. Or Call of Duty. Just because it'll be funny that I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, uh, we're not there yet. We need just 600 more dollars. We can definitely go farther in Arctic Floats, so let's give that a shot. Ah, I'm sorry, I gotta do it! I love the hi-hat beats. Ah, oh, so good. All right, let us focus. Let us leave. Ugh. I've been watching Avatar, re-watching Avatar The Last Airbender recently. Because I looked it up, and guess what rating it has on Rotten Tomatoes. After coming out in 2007, this show still has a shelf life of 100% on 
Rotten Tomatoes. 100%. Not even 99, 100%. That's amazing. And it's a kid's show. It's completely clean. I mean, that's amazing. So I'm re-watching it because, and in case, for those of you that don't know, there's Pyrite again! Oh my word. This playthrough is blessed. Oh my goodness. Oh, you don't you don't understand. I played this game leading up to this playthrough. I mean, for probably 50 hours trying to catch that boy. And never saw him once, and we are not even to all the locations yet, and we've seen him twice. Oh my word, honey. Oh, the bees are making some honey for this playthrough. <laughs> wow. Oh, I think it's you all. I think all of you special people out there are the reason why we're seeing so many pyrite fish. Oh my gosh. How amazing. This is insane. Oh. Oh, wow. I wonder if, if the gear we have on and the time of, of day that we're recording this has anything to do with it. Because I'm recording at about the same time as I did at the, the last session. And I'm still wearing the gel mitt. And I think we got him. I think we already, I think we got to shot the gears off of him. Oh, wow. Truly amazing. And we have, I think... Uh, the wizard hat on? Whatever the first... The Kashmir wool! I think that's what we have on. Maybe? One of the things that gets you more money for fish. Gosh. Well, take note, everyone that wants to get the pirate fish. I, but I feel like it's completely random, because I tried... I tried everything. And I played it this time... I don't know. I have no idea. What do we have on? We have on the suit. Just the suit. Oh, let's buy that wizard robe. My word. And let's let's get ourselves a second chance. Because we're... We're not Olet. I gotta read things. I forget to read things. <laughs> in, in real life, too, with books. Second chance. With this, the first fish you hit gets the juice. Dies our education. Yeah, it's not a fun, not a fun time for a fishies. Uh, and it's also strange that I like this game because... Don't like fishing. The sport of fishing does not interest me in the slightest. Also not interested in sports. Tennis. Tennis is kind of interesting. Tennis! Uh, and uh, ping pong. Table tennis. I would watch a soccer game. Uh, but I never have. <laughs> so, you know... Just not, just not that into sports. I, I, I understand why people are into sports, but personally, not a fan. When we step back and think about sports, too, it's like, kind of crazy that we pay so much money to these people when, you know, we could be paying other people, other jobs, that kind of money that deserve it, like teachers or... You know, state-funded things like firefighters. I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Maybe that'll that'll make a lot of people angry. But you know what I mean. Putting out fires not a talent, huh? It's not an entertaining talent, I suppose. It's not on TV. Ugh. Doing a fake rant right now. Don't mind me. <laughs> Such good music! Get Oh, I got the goosebumps. Because it's so good. So, so good. Let's get all these fishies out. Every time I... This game, I have to rotate the, rotate the phone to move my line. Every time I rotate it a certain way, it reflects some, some light happening. is reflecting off of a mirror, and it's making me think that someone is near. Scary. Very scary. Person is coming. To slap me on my tummy, but maybe he wants to kiss me. That would be 
kind of crazy, but it is okay with me. I'm doing quite a good job at rhyming. What rhymes with job? Steve Jobs. Hey, that's a good one. Good job, Cole. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, I am a silly boy. Crack myself up. Am I funny? Am I funny? Am I doing the good thing? I don't care. I think I'm funny. <laughs> no new fishies. Come on. Let's get to the bottom of Arctic flows. Maybe some more improv will help us. George was a television set, and he just wanted to be seen. He didn't want to be seen through at all the TV shows that people were watching. He wanted to be seen for himself, a TV. Then one day, he broke. And then Mr. Uh, 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 Carl came to fix George. And for once in his life, uh, well, first of all, he was broken. Oh! It didn't help. I'll finish that story because it's interesting. So Carl came to fix George, and uh, it took some, some laborious hours, but he finally fixed him. All it took was a couple slaps, uh, just like that man came to slap me on the tummy, and uh, George was fixed. But before Carl left, Carl said to George, I miss the days when I had TV like this. And he stood and looked at the TV with nothing on. It was a blank screen. There was no TV show on. And for once in George's life, someone looked at George just as he was. And then, uh, that's the end of the story. Yep. I was going to end it tragically and say that the family decided to buy a new TV. Oh, okay, we'll go there. <gasps> Ooh, perfectly $4,000. Look at that. So, family went and bought a $4,000 TV and threw George out in the trash, even though it just got fixed. They were like, well, it breaks all the time. Let's just get a new one. Remember this, but I like this TV. Ah, shush. We're getting a new TV. I want to see my pretty shows on a pretty screen. All right. They threw George out. They, they didn't fit in the trash can because he was so large. And so... They... I had to throw him in a dumpster. Guess who came along and found George in the dumpster? Carl said, Whoa! It's George! He didn't know George's name at the time. But Carl was a kind of funky fellow, and so he decided to name the TV. And guess what he named it? Alfred. Alfred, look at you! Boy, what a turn of events I'd find you here. I'm taking you home. And George lived happily ever after. Or was he Alfred? The world may never know! Just like the center of a Tootsie Pop. The end. That's my story. Thank you for joining. I hope it was entertaining. Oh. Uh, it did not help us that particular run, but we're gonna try our best here. I need to use more of my chainsaw. It's such a, such a little, little, little tooby do when it comes to using my chainsaw. I need to. I, I need that bigger lamp. It's kind of. It would help me out a lot because I cannot see. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that there. Maybe it was there, but I didn't notice it. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm not doing a great job. I hate those goose, goosey fish, whatever, boost, boost, goose. But they make a great sound. Very, very satisfying sound. Kind of on the look at. Look. Look at? Look in? Look out. I'm kind of on the lookout for satisfying sounds. For the intro. For our channel. The Just Game intro. Because when Just, the word Just falls and hits the word Game, I want it to be a satisfying sound. Because it's something that people might tune into uh, often, and if you're going to see it all the time, and if I'm going to hear it all the time while I'm editing, I want to have a satis- I want it to be a satisfying sound. I want you to relax when you start watching a Jess game video. 
listen to the soundscape of the two second intro. So any like quick sounds that would make sense for that um, point in the intro, I'm kind of on the lookout for. Post in the comments below if you have any satisfying sounds that you think would work for that. One sound that I have found is the sound of a raindrop or a drop of water on a boogie board. I only noticed that because I was recently in the beautiful state of Flo Rida, home of Aaron Hansen, or origin of Aaron Hansen, and I uh, heard that sound and I was like, ooh, that's quite nice. Hello there. And would work. Uh oh. Text! Might, uh, might blur that out in post, which will be slightly annoying, but that's okay. I forgot I need to put my phone on the the do not disturb. Boop. There we go. And on that do not disturb note, I think we'll call it an episode. That was a little long. Uh, maybe not. I'm not sure. But yeah. So long. Until next time. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Is it just or not? Am I really leaving or not? Or are we really continuing or not? <gasps> or not. Hit it, Justin. <laughs>